This video is meant to show you how to deal with a system on an incline. So what we want to do first is decide whether or not the system is going to move with the block that is hanging off of the pulley going down or whether or not this block is going to cause that to move up. So the way we start is we calculate the force of gravity on this hanging block. We then calculate the force of gravity on the block on the incline. We then break that gravity up in the two parts. A part that is parallel to the incline, we can call this force gravity 2 in the x direction, and a force gravity 2 in the y direction. This will be our force of gravity for object 2. Now what we want to do is we want to compare the force of gravity on object 1 with the force of gravity on object 2 in the x direction. If gravity 1 is larger, this block will move down. If force of gravity was less on this block, then this block would move up. Once we determine which direction the block on the incline is going to move, we can draw in friction. If this block was moving up the incline, we would draw friction going down the incline. If the block was moving down the incline, then we draw friction pointing up the incline. Okay, so once we decide which way it's going, we could then figure out the acceleration of the system. The acceleration of the system, as with all systems, is the net force on the system divided by the mass of the system. The net force would be if the system is moving with this block going down, then we do that force gravity minus the force gravity on block two in the x direction minus friction. The one force that's trying to make the block go up the table, up the incline, minus the two that are pointing down the incline. We divide by the total mass of the system. If, on the other hand, the system was moving in the other direction, then what we'd want to do is get rid of the friction pointing down the incline and point friction up the incline. Our acceleration formula would now be force of gravity 2 in the x, that's what's trying to get us to go down the incline, minus the force of friction, minus the force of gravity 1. Divide by the total mass of the system. So depending on the relative strengths of force gravity 1 and force gravity 2x, we will either do the acceleration of the block up the incline or the acceleration of the block down the incline. 